as I'll ever be. Do you really think high school's gonna be all that different from middle school? I don't want people to think I'm a loser. Worst case, you always have me. What's up, bro? Ooh, tidy. Keeping it clean, tidy. Oh no. Maddie Danner. Everyone is on her feed. Did you guys see Maddie's eyebrows from last weekend? Oh, on fleek. What about this one? Go with the football pick. It's more iconic. Like a Taylor Swift song. Oh, you're so right. Prom is just around the corner. Guessing you still don't have a date for the prom. Prom is about sex. Come on, Maddie. G2G. <laughs> Maddie, it's not what it looks like. So it's not my boyfriend and best friend making out for some optical illusion of that? Well, if you'll believe that, then yes. Oh my god. Why are you doing this now? I know how much being crowned queen means to you, which only makes me want it more. Now just reflect and listen to my urine hit the water. I reflected. My whole life has been a lie. Maddie, what's wrong? I hate high school. I never thought that popular kids in school would have anything to get this upset about. Maybe she's not that popular. You okay? Why did all of this have to happen right before prom? That's it. What's it? Prom. What if we ruined it? Who would want to help us? Every kid you and your ex-friends ever made fun of. The sweat stain on your back looks like the United States of America. I'm posting this. This is for all the a-holes who destroyed high school for us. <laughs> We're in. We'll make it a night that they never forget. You're gonna take a selfie? Sweet. Cool. Hold on. We have to take at least 40 or 50 to make sure we all look good. Part of me just wishes I could go to prom. Destroy that prom. Let me take off those tidy whiteies. Are you high? A little, but that doesn't mean I don't mean what I say. Welcome to prom! You guys ready to make this a prom they will never forget? Hell yes. So I'm turned on right now. <laughs> How do you do this? 39 more, here we go. How much longer am I going to have to be here? I need your help. I want to burn, I want to explode. I want to have sexual intercourse. Someone who has a car. What's a car? Stop moping, try this. They're looking for writers to be a rock critic. I'm Johanna Morrigan. I have an interview for the job. Did you think my writing was good? It's not really us. Not cool. Darling, rooms like that need girls like you. Come on, let's go! Good God, it's a child catcher. Johanna Morrigan is dead. This is the legendary Dolly Wilde. Last night, rock and roll meant nothing to me. By midnight, it was the most important thing in the world. Dolly, have you ever done an interview before? I've never done an anything before. These are the places you come where you can dance and scream and be with your own kind, where everything is possible. Dolly Wah, she's trouble. Yes, I am trouble. The thing about crossing over to the dark side is that once you're there, it doesn't feel dark at all. My question to you, Johanna, is when did you lose your mind? What do you do when you build yourself, only to realize you built yourself with the wrong things? You rip it up and start again. This, we would like to run in the next issue. Thank you. Thank you very much, ma'am. Are you, in fact, pretending to be Elvis right now? I just feel like I should have done more this summer. You did a lot. I mean, fun stuff. Like, I don't know. You ever think about a person so much that you start to believe that they might know that you're thinking about them? When I was a kid, maybe. And the first time that I saw you. Do you want to 
happens from over there? What happens over there? We talk. You trick you into giving up your childhood, all these promises of adventure. Once you realize what you lost, it's too late. Can't get it back. We're gonna go to some tunnels one of the girls heard about. <laughs> it's a makeup maze. Can we go? Do you know where the Abbey twins are? I told you, they're starting school. There's some freshman welcome sleepover. What are you doing here? I saw you and I thought I'd say hi. Really? Do you want to come inside? No, I feel like running. Since moving to this nowhere town, I'm still waiting for an ounce of excitement. Nancy Drew! Check it out. The creepy twin Elms house has gone viral. Finally, things are about to get a little more interesting. The legend dates back to 1885, when the Colfax brothers, who built Twin Elms, had a falling out over a woman. Legend has it, you can hear them crying in the walls. Sometimes it's weird sounds. The lights start flickering. Things just stop making sense. <laughs> you think I'm crazy, huh? Smidge. There's got to be an explanation. So what do we know? One, we know a black Mercedes was lurking around Twin Elms. Two, we know somebody came in here and scared us half to death. And three, we know it felt insanely real. Mean Girls first. The way your brain works is so cool. <laughs> Hello, my name's Nancy Drew. Well, I told you this was going to be awesome. Oh, there she is. I wish I were half as brave as you. You're as persuasive as your dad and as righteous as your mom was. Is this safe to carry? Yeah. Just don't drop it. Okay. Just don't. It's not funny. <laughs> Stop, Miss <laughs> Luther. You committed several felonies. Wait, they're only felonies if you're 18. Delivering justice, it's my duty. Well, this town is so much more fun with you in it. So, how do we get in? Well, I figured you knew how to pick a lock. Oh, now I'm public enemy number one? No, I just thought that... Seriously, Nance, you gonna pick the lock or what? Oh, yeah, totally. Can you drive? Technically. You skate a lot better than you drive. Hey. Busy. I don't want to take up a ton of your time, but I'm going to kill myself. I just thought that an adult should know. Wow. Well, actually, I was writing my own suicide note just now. I have 32 fleeting minutes of happiness during lunch, which has been eaten up again and again by the same especially badly dressed student. And I finally thought I would rather have the dark nothingness. There are two types of people in the world. The people who naturally excel at life. Golden boy, what's up? And the people who hope all those people die in a big explosion. Look at that stupid shirt my brother's wearing. When I was 13, it was clear which side of the equation I was on. That's what best friends are for. Nick is like right there. God, Juby made him so hot. And I had Krista. Krista! Oh my God! My brother? Seriously? I can't help how I feel. You turn into a completely different person. Why don't you try being positive? Mom, I'm gonna write down the next thing you're gonna say. I'm not playing your little games, Nadine. Congratulations. You have all the answers, don't you? No, which is why I wish I had a mother who would notice. When I was younger, 
What did I do to make such a perfect kid, huh? Today, I never need Are you having a problem today, Nadine? Several. I don't really have any friends at the moment. Help me if you can. Life isn't fair sometimes, Nadine, okay? You gotta get over it. Life's about taking risks. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Nick, I like you. I want you to put your mouth on my tits. We can do it in the Petland stock room. I can't send this. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God, no. Oh. Help me if you can. I'm feeling this isn't so bad. I just want to be with you. I want you to put your mouth on my tits. I want to feel you inside. Mm. God, we can do it in the Petland stock room. Won't you please, please? Oh my God, say something, please help me. You need to watch out for run-on sentences. Help me. People judge you here, not for who you are, but who you hang out with. <laughs> See if you're gonna ask Roxy out again, or you're just gonna spank one out to her every day till graduation. If it makes my life a little easier to hang out with one crowd over the other, I'm gonna do what I have to do till I'm out of here. Remember one thing, though. You're having my sloppy seconds. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, one day they're gonna go too far and they're gonna be sorry. I thought I could handle this all on my own. Hey, what happened to your face? I have to tell you something. There's something that's shut. It wants to kill me. Are you kidding me? Tom, I swear to God, there's something inside. All right, then show me. Let me see your pet monster. Dude, don't you see what this means? We can use this, this is power. What? Nobody's ever gonna mess with us again. Are you crazy? Think about it. It's not murder, it's payback. This is not a gift or a weapon. This is dangerous. I'm supposed to be your best friend. Look what they did to me this time. What the hell is happening? Don't know what's inside that shit. Get in. What's inside that shit? Please welcome to the stage, president of Mathletes, as well as her own self-published magazine, Women with a Y, valedictorian Brandy Clark. Get off the stage, virgin! <laughs> Going to college. I have to register, contact my dorm mate, label my clothes. Oh my God, stop. I'm taking you to a college party. <laughs> I'm out of here. My dad is a judge. He'd be so disappointed. Wait. Who is that? Rusty Waters. We can stay. Spinderella cut it up one time. I didn't know what to do. I always know what to do. Freshman year is like one big sexual pop quiz. You need to do your homework. Homework? Yeah. Let's do this. Let's talk about sex, baby. This is everything I need to do before I leave for college. There are things on this list that I haven't even done, Brandy. Motor boating. Uncle Andy has a boat. That should be easy. Hello, welcome to Big Bond. May I help you? I've decided to lose my virginity to Rusty Waters. Do you want fries with that? No. What's the plan? I'm engaging. Smart. Once I add sexually experienced to the package, he'll totally want me. Is this, is it, are, is this shorts or a skirt? Neither, they're skirts. That chick is crazy. Hey! Oh. Yeah, I know what you mean. I like it. Jerk! 
I get it. Not having sex is a big deal. It's this. Swear to God. All this feelings and emotional <laughs> crap. Duh. New suit? What, this whole thing? I wanna put your top back on. Oh my god! I have bigger boobs than you! Today, my boss made fun of me in front of this incredibly hot college guy. <laughs> Shocker. Shut the front door, Amber. Shut the back door. Not the back door. What? There's doors we don't do. George. Pass the potatoes, please. Okay, honey, go ahead and try it on for me, right? Don't be such a prude. Well, at least she ain't pregnant. Are you, honey? Class, this is Margot Richmond, all the way from Kansas City. <laughs> well, if it ain't all a stinky draw. Come on, Mike, do it. Ooh. Is she in the right position now, Mikey? Oh, Jesus, ain't you Christ! Move it! Come on! Move it! Get in! Are you okay? What are y'all doing in Wakita? My daddy takes pictures for Laugh Magazine. You might have even seen the picture he did for Marilyn. Marilyn Monroe? Well, who else? <laughs> Who's Maggie? My friend. You wish people would like you? I don't care if people like me. It doesn't matter if I change my hair. I'm still the same girl I always was. I'm gonna be with you the whole time. <laughs> Iris Dearborn, is that you? I've never seen you all dolled up. I hardly recognized you. You look beautiful. You came. Hey, Iris. That gorgeous boy just said hey to you. I know. Well, why don't you say hey back? Because I might throw up. Maggie, we know you're new, but it is essential you stay away from Iris Dearborn. Something's wrong, I know it. I can always tell when you're lying. I'm not lying. Honey, you think this girl is your friend? Come on, what's wrong with you? What is wrong with you? What's wrong with me? Maggie! You're the only girl in this town who's not phony. 